boys and girls. Um, I'm here at my dining room table with a lot of stuff. Um, and that's because we are going to start chapter 11 for math. In chapter 11, we're going to talk about 3D shapes. I'm going to go over what those are and I'm going to talk about all this stuff that's on my table. So let's take a look. Here are the 3D shapes we are going to be looking at in this chapter. One of the main goals we have is to be able to identify the 3D shape and know its name. Um, so we're going to go through them and look at them today. So this one right here is called a cylinder. Here's the word cylinder. I'm going to zoom in on this one. Okay. So cylinder starts with a soft C. And you see it has the ER in it. Okay, cylinder. A cylinder has rounded sides and a flat top that makes the shape of a circle. So that is a cylinder. The next shape we're going to look at is a sphere. So here is a sphere. Here's the word sphere. The pH, remember we learned pH makes the th sound, okay? Ear, sphere. It's like the word fear, but then you add an S in the beginning. Sphere, sphere. A sphere is the shape of a ball. It's rounded, there's no flat sides. Completely round. The next one we're gonna look at is a cube. Okay, cube. The E makes the U say its name, cube. A cube, if you look at it on its face, it is the shape of a square. A cube has a square on all of its sides, so no matter how you turn a cube, you will always see a square. Similar to a cube is the rectangular prism. Okay, a rectangular prism is where you see a rectangle on one, at least one of the sides. Now, if you look careful, carefully at this rectangular prism, you will notice that there's a rectangle on this side and this side. However, on the ends, there's still a square. So the way a rectangle, what makes a rectangular prism a rectangular prism is that you can see a rectangle on at least one of the sides. Next shape we're gonna look at is a cone. Okay, a cone is rounded, okay, it's very rounded, it has a circle shape at the bottom, it's flat face is a circle shape, and it comes to a point at the top, that's a cone. And the last one we're going to look at is a pyramid, okay, a pyramid has triangles on its faces. A lot of times at the bottom, it'll either make a triangle or a square when you turn it over. Okay, so that's a pyramid. So now we're back to, well, why does Mrs. Bell have all these items on her table? Well, the reason why I have all these items on my table is because these are all 3D shapes. Throughout your house, you can find many of the shapes I just showed you. Um, and relate them to one of our terms. So we're gonna take a quick look at some of these objects and see how they relate to the 3D shape that we went over. So the first pile that we're gonna look at is the cylinder pile. So we went through our house, my son helped me, and we were looking for things that have this shape, the shape of a cylinder. That means they're going to be round on the sides and flat on the top and flat on the bottom. So let's see what we found. So I have my cinnamon seasoning. It is round on the sides. See, can you unroll? And when you look at the top, it's got a circle shape and a flat shirt circle shape on the bottom. That's a cylinder. We found chapstick, same thing, circle shape, flat on the top, round on the sides, flat bottom. A can, okay, same thing, look. Okay, can's a cylinder. And then, this was kind of creative, my son said my yoga mat is also the shape of a cylinder. It's round on the sides, and then when you look at the top, it has a flat circle shape, okay? So those are all objects that are cylinders, okay? A cylinder. 
Now we're going to take a look over here. These objects are spheres. Okay, remember sphere, like the word fear, sphere. Okay, I found a globe, okay, Com completely round. The sphere is like a ball. An orange, okay, oranges are completely round. There's no flat size. Ooh, I'm losing my orange. Okay, he found a little ping pong ball and a basketball. These are all spheres. They're completely round. They have no flat sides. Okay, that's what makes a sphere a sphere. Okay, over here, a rectangular, rectangular prism. That means that at least one side is going to have a rectangle. So we found a tissue box. Now notice it has a square face on this side, but all the other sides show rectangles except for the other end, which is also a square. Then we have a box of cereal, okay? Flat faces, they're all flat on either side, okay? And when you look at them, this actually shows a rectangle, okay? Rectangle, rectangle, okay? Different rectangles on either side. And last, we have a book, which I'm sure you heard the other day. There's an alligator under my bed rectangle, okay, and then even here, it's a really skinny rectangle, okay, see the skinny rectangle shapes, okay, so that is, these are all rectangular prisms, remember that means that they have flat sides, and at least one of the faces are a rectangle, okay, now we have cube, okay, we have a dice, all of the sides are squares, okay? That's what makes a cube a cube. All the sides are squares. This is a dice, just a different kind of dice. It's from a game we had downstairs. Then we have a Rubik's cube. See all the square sides? And then we just found a box that says ink in it, and all the sides are squares, okay? That's what makes a cube a cube. Okay, coming over here, we have cone, okay? Remember, a cone usually comes to a point, comes to a point and has a flat bottom and rounded sides, okay, that go in as you come up. So the things we found are a funnel, okay, so let's say it comes to a point, a rounded sides, and then the flat bottom, which is a circle. Okay, this is a, like a <laughs> squeaky toy. Okay, so it comes up to a point at the top. Okay, these are rounded sides, and when you look at the bottom, it's a little squished. But it's really this, if it wasn't squished, it would be the shape of a circle. And then we have a cone, like a cone you'd find outside. This is a, sports, a sporting cone, it's a mini, it's a mini cone. And it is, comes to a point, rounded on the sides. Now, this cone has a big bottom, but you wanna picture it, remember, Picture as though it stopped here without that flat bottom, okay? If you look, do you see that circle at the bottom? Yep, that's what makes a cone a cone. And then our last shape is a pyramid, and uh-oh, no pyramids. We looked all over our house but couldn't find any. Just remember a pyramid, they're flat on all the sides. That's what's different between a pyramid and a cone. Pyramids are completely flat-sided and it makes a triangle on most of the sides. However, the bottom sometimes is a square, okay? So no pyramids in our house. So now that we looked at all the shapes on my table, I encourage you to go through your house and see what kind of shapes can you find in your house. Believe it or not, you'll be surprised at how many you can find. Um, over the next couple of days, you're gonna see a lot of videos. There will be things on Think Central, but um, I really want you to be able to learn the names of the shapes and be able to identify them. Not just when you look at the picture, like these that we had looked at, but I also want you to be able to identify them in real life objects, okay? So that is our goal. So there will be a lot of videos, but I want you to check them out because they're going to help you identify the names of the shapes, all right? Have fun.